Are you confused? Well, that's okay. It's kind of confusing. Everybody gets confused when it comes to Green, Gauss, Stokes, Independence Path. All these different theorems all jumbled up in the head. These will test you. I will test you. Here's some advice in terms of how to deal with this. This is uh, general advice. If you've got some problem where you suspect it's a Green or Gauss or Stokes or something like that, say a problem with a vector field, what do you do? The first question you should ask yourself is, Am I in the plane? Am I in 2D? If I'm in 2D, there's not much to choose from. Uh, try Green's theorem. And if that doesn't work, then try the independence of path theorem. See if that applies. Everyone always forgets about that. If neither of those is applicable, then you're going to have to do it directly. And that's it. That's the only thing you have to worry about. Now, if you're not in 2D, if you're in 3D, then you need to examine the problem carefully. Are you being asked to compute a flux? Do you see the phrase flux of a curl? If you see flux of a curl anywhere in a problem, boom, Stokes theorem. Try Stokes theorem. Don't forget about the fact that you can simplify the surface. That's a really nice step. If you don't see the phrase flux of a curl, then you probably want to try using Gauss's theorem. It's so useful. It's so friendly. It's so easy to apply in general. Okay, that's the that's a general rubric for flux problems. Let's say you don't see the word flux anywhere in your problem. If you're computing a circulation, if you're trying to compute uh, something along a, a closed loop, then try using Stokes' theorem again. And don't forget about simplifying the surface. That is very, very helpful. If you're not computing a circulation, if you're just doing the integral of a vector field along a path, uh, some kind of work problem, something like that, try using the independence of path theorem. Everyone always forgets about that one. Or in extremis, try doing it directly. Now, this is not a perfect guide. This will not cover all possible cases, but in terms of trying to alleviate some of the confusion, this might be helpful. You need a lot of practice in order to be able to do Green, Gauss, and Stokes well. Good luck.